Hello and welcome back to Mulch. Now I say welcome back, it's been a few weeks, possibly almost two months, and for this I am very sorry. Um, I hope you're well and I'm sorry to have disappeared without an explanation. I am back today because I really wanted to list a formal closure to this year's proceedings of Mulch. Um, Mulch came out of what was an incredibly difficult year for me in 2023. Um, One of the things that happened was that I found it really challenging to write, and yet I still wanted and needed to communicate a realistic and honest approach to the practice of flower farming. Because I love what we do, I love our business, and I know that you do too, and I know it's hard. And I recognised that the approach that we have here at Silver Grey Foliage is similar to some and different to many others. And it's quite pragmatic and grounded and realistic and honest. And I really wanted to share as much of that with you as I could. I know that some of you have really enjoyed the podcast and I'm really grateful for your direct feedback. I'm going to start the show today by saying, please, please, please leave a rating. If you like the show, please leave a rating and leave a review. It makes a huge amount of difference to the number of people who will have access to it, for whom it will show up in their um, Apple or Spotify um, and so on. I'd be grateful and I hope that they'll be grateful too. So please, please leave a review, leave a rating. Thank you. Um, so mulch, mulch came out of a difficult time and it really gave me an opportunity to test my voice. Speaking is something that I have been doing as part of previous careers for a long time. It's something that I enjoy and it was something that I could still do. And I didn't want to speak into a dictaphone and dictate stuff and write it down. It doesn't have quite the same feeling as talking with people. And I too often feel like I'm having a conversation, even if that conversation is just one inside my head. Um, So thank you for sharing my conversations and thank you for listening. Um, I never envisaged having a podcast. So to be 36 episodes in, having produced an episode most weeks for the majority of the year, I'm really proud and I'm really pleased. Today's episode is the last episode for 2024, and that's for a number of reasons. The first is that winter for us is actually one of our busiest times. It's when we turn our field, it's when we take a little bit of a break and we take the foot off the gas, it's when we cut all our foliage for winter, it's when we think about our processes, it's when we really invest that kind of mental and personal feeling Um, into where we're going next and what we're going to do. In addition to that, um, you know that the Flower Farmers Planner is now out there. And you may or may not know, um, because I haven't been here in mulch, that the Flower Farmers Planner this year isn't just the physical copy. It is also um, the Flower Farmers Planner online And I've been investing quite a lot of my kind of desk time into thinking and preparing for that. So for those of you that haven't heard about this, um, the Flower Farmers Planner is closer to where I've wanted it to be this year than it has ever been. The online platform has removed some of the bulk from the physical planner and it's also given me the opportunity to share with you the logic behind things and to give explanations and reasoning um, to share thoughts and tips on growing um, and on the business side and that's something that I really believe in. It is at its full price now, its full price now is £85 but we have also cancelled and refunded all of the workshops that we had planned for business planning, um, financial planning and pricing, workshops and similar, because the content that is going on to the Flower Farmers Planner online is of the same standard. And for me, I feel 
better able to share that with everyone and to give more people the opportunity than charging more for a workshop when you get my personal time. There is the opportunity to work with me one-to-one as a mentor. Um, and if you wish to do that, please do just drop me an email. It's Rebecca at silvergreyfailage.com. So um, the online platform for um, the Flower Farming pl- Plan, the Flower Farmers Planner, is doing really well. It started in October, just before we sent out the first round of the physical planner. So those are now out in the world. Um, and it, it looks good. I'm really proud of it. And the feedback so far is really positive. Um, uploaded this month. So we put lots of things on last month. Uh, but moving on to November, we have added information about planning your month and using your business plan as it exists to guide your work across this month. Um, there are some kind of pep talks um, around um comparison and your approach and how that approach differs when you're at the beginning of your career as a flower farmer when you're in the middle and then when you're at the end the other thing um that has gone on this month so far is um some teaching on how to grow ranunculus and it's a 10 minute talk i might do quite a few 10 minute talks um but it's ranunculus grown well summarize into 10 minutes i talk really quickly there's a lot of information on in it um, but it's essentially the bare bones with padding of everything that we do which is why we've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of very happy looking um, ranunculus in our field at the moment okay um and then we started adding the business essentials, which used to be part of the planner. So the business essentials got an introduction, which explains the logic and the order. And the field planning section is up there as well. That went up last week. And that has um, some comments from my field. It has um, a tutorial that's just about our field plan and how it developed and why and how. And then there's the PDF as well, which um, is for you to work through. It includes like, plenty of dotted paper for you to do your drawings on, asking questions about how you want to set up your field or how it's set up at the moment and how you might want to change it over the course of winter. And just thinking about the stages that you might do that in because rain wasn't built in a day and you won't be able to do everything over winter. So take it easy, pick one, maybe two things and get those things done well rather than lots of things done badly. Okay, so those are are the sorts of things that are going up there still to come is sustainability financial planning pricing business planning and loads more i'm really excited about it and i think it's a bargain if i'm honest um so why am i doing it i am doing it for a number of reasons so many of you will know that we advertised grow earlier in the year um i it didn't take off. We didn't get anyone sign up to grow. I've been really honest about this, but as a result, a number of people did um, come to me and ask if I would work with them as a mentor. And for the majority of those people, I have said yes, and we're working together. One of the things that you'll find about me is that if I am finding something difficult, if it doesn't quite sit right and I'm not comfortable with it, I won't talk about it as much and we all do that and so I did have a degree of discomfort with grow that I couldn't put a finger on and I still can't put a finger on what I know is that the flower farmers planner online becomes viable when enough people sign up when I say viable I mean viable financially for us I talk about money a lot because flower farmers don't tend to and it's actually incredibly important um so at the moment, it's not really that viable, um, but I do think it's really honouring the degree of support that I want people to have to be able to make the most of getting good records for their business. And so for me, for the next year, I feel that's the right thing to do. What does that mean for Mulch? Well, Mulch will be back next year, but Mulch will be back probably in February um, because we'll take a couple of weeks off over Christmas and I would like to make sure that over the next few weeks and months we finish off our winter foliage. Um, 
I get as much of the planning and kind of ongoing written stuff recorded um, or written stuff handed over to Liz um, so that she can get it looking nice for you um, when it's uploaded onto the platform. So when you buy the planner, it will take you through till December next year. Um, and then if you wish to, you'll be able to rejoin or reorder um, or similar. And I'll talk about that next year because I don't think it's really relevant now. What is there still to come for Flower Fireman's Planner? Well, there are some live sessions um, that we'll be doing. There will be... Um, oh, goodness me. It's Tuesday morning and my coffee is sat here and I haven't had any of it yet. Um, so there will be some quarterly planning sessions. Um, there will be some Q and A sessions. Um, it will be packed full of business tips and guides. Oh, there's a seed sowing schedule and plan kind of concept and lots of things on growing to go on there. Um, that are written. I just need to record them and so on and so forth. Like it's going to be packed full of useful stuff and it's already packed full of useful stuff. Um, I highly recommend it to you, and so do others. Mulch, we'll be back next year in February, um, going through the growing season. As ever, it will be honest, practical, pragmatic. If there are things that you would like to hear about questions that you'd like me to answer on mulch, then drop me a line, rebecca at silvergrayfoliage.com. And otherwise, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. Um, Thank you for returning week after week. Um, Thank you for having me in your ear. And I really wish you the best end to 2024 and a successful, prosperous, peaceful start to 2025. Any questions? I'm always here. I'm off on Instagram and I will be with my head in the Flower Farmers Planner all the time. There's a link to buy your copy of the planner if you want to in the show notes. And when you buy uh, the planner, then you get automatic um, entry into the online platform. So that starts straight away. Um, and you just get an email that tells you how to log on and stuff. Well, that's enough from me for today. Wishing you all the best, the merriest of Christmases and the most peaceful times with your friends, family and loved ones that you can have. Rebecca.